Happy Monday. So I, I did not think that we would be starting off our week ripping on a, a former Packers offensive lineman, also former Hawkeye, in Brian Balaga, but here here we are. So uh, the holidays definitely bring out the bitterness. So like it, It's like a, a reduction. You just want to you know, get, get that bitterness out uh, of your sauce, right? Uh, and holidays, being around family, uh, you, you need to release a little bit of aggression and, and some tension, as well as maybe a couple of cocktails are involved. You're watching some bad football games, all, all this stuff. All this stuff, right? So Brian Balaga, uh, again, former Hawkeye, former Packers offensive lineman, a, a guy that I liked. I, I liked the way that he played when he was on the field. Fantastic. All, all that good stuff. So he, he decided to take the Twitter uh, dur- during the Vikings game on Saturday, Christmas Eve. So first off, a big cat, Barstool big cat. Respect the hustle. He's awesome. He's also a Bears apologist, so so t- uh, keep that in mind. Uh, the Vikings end zone is a disaster. That's what he tweeted out. And I agree. I mean, not going to lie. So the whole Vikings winter whiteout thing, it's a good concept. But the execution, now, I- I'm not harping on the grounds crew at all because, I don't know, maybe, maybe it was limited time. Maybe they started paying it like three days ahead of time. But the so the Vikings have a purple end zone usually with white writing on it, right? Uh, but now you're trying to paint over it, and anyone who has ever tried to paint over a dark room and paint it white uh, in, in your house or apartment, uh, it's tough. It's tough. So you got a dark purple or a deep purple. Nah, 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 nah. Wait, that's not the song. Whatever. Anyways, uh, so you're trying to paint it white. I see a purple end zone, and I want to paint it white. It's going to take more than two coats. I, I mean... I mean, hell, that might be one coat, all right? So they needed more coats on there, but that's besides the point. But Brian Balaga decided to just enter the conversation with a complete non sequitur. Uh, So Big Cat, uh, again, he's complaining about the paint job on the end zone. Yes, Uh, Brian Balaga, when you want to act like you're a tough Midwest team and deal with the elements slash snow, but play in a dome on turf. Again, Captain non sequitur, I have no idea what that has to do with the paint job in the end zone. All right, so that's completely out of left field. That's some completely just pent up um, rage inside of him. I I I don't know, but uh, again, uh, Brian Balaga, former Greasy Grime at Green Bay Packer, played at Kinnick Stadium uh, for the Hawkeyes. So it's like, hey, uh, apparently, see here's the thing. So apparently, you're you're not a tough team. Apparently, you, you ain't getting after it in the Midwest if you ain't playing in the ice and snow. It, apparently, if you have the absolute absolute nut high the absolute state-of-the-art stadium uh, where every single team in the league when they built have their concepts for a new stadium it's obviously sampling from u.s bank stadium it it is the best stadium in north america and it's the best stadium in the nfl by far and it's fantastic the concourse are are even super wide uh, to support packers fans and chicago bears fans when we allow them to step into our stadium Woo! That's right, man. So um, B- Balag is like, hey, you're not a real team unless you play outside in a stadium that couldn't sell out. That's why the Packers used to play half their home games in Milwaukee. And it's not you're not a real team unless you play in a stadium where you can just piss it, uh, all over the place in, in, the, in the high school bleachers, all that stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Or playing at Kinnick. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. But I, I understand why Brian Balaga is bitter. Actually, I found the root cause of it because in his final 10 games against the Vikings, he went 3-6-1. <laughs> <laughs> Three, six, one, damn good time. Something like that. I, I mean, also, how is Brian Balaga going to act tough when he ended his career in San Diego? Or, sorry, L.A.? They had moved by then? I mean, so, so get out of here. It's like, hey, you're, you're not a tough Midwestern team unless you go play in L.A. Well, it's a, like a low of 50 there on Christmas, and people are complaining about wearing parkas and stuff. So please, please. But, uh, again, I, I didn't see the start of our week and the start of Packers week, just ripping on a random Packers offensive line jabroni. <laughs> but it is what it is. You're out of line, man. You're out of line. The whole damn system's out of line. Complete non sequitur. It is what it is. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Brian Balaga, bitter for some reason. Because <laughs> the Viking. Uh, uh, wait, hold on, hold on. No, we've said this before. Open the doors for a game. Hmm? <laughs> First round of the playoffs. Let everyone know ahead of time so they can bring their coats and stuff. So, hey. First round wild card. Well, actually, second round since we're going to get the one seed and steal from the Eagles. Woo! That's right. Uh, have the doors open. Boo! And make sure Greg Joseph doesn't kick on that end. <laughs> That's all. But your thoughts are thoughts. Brian Balaga, super bitter for some reason. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once we put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.